Let's go. Let's do it. I'm pumped. I'm ready. This is the Mystical Sheep number two. Laser Cannon Armor. The Witty Phantom. We've got a Sogan, and I am so pumped. I'm so ready. Let's see what it is. Oh, yeah. That right there. I hey, guys. What's up? It is Andrew here, and this is Casual Gaming. Hope you guys are having a great day today. As far as this video goes, if you have been watching this series at all, then you already know this is the Completing Legend of Blue Eyes series, a series where I am opening Korean Legend of Blue Eyes packs until I've completed the entire series, meaning I just have one of each card at least, and the rules are pretty simple. I have to get the cards from the booster packs, and I have to do that on video. Uh, in this video series. So with that said, we're on video four today. Only a few cards uh, really left that are still needed, so we will see if any of those end up getting pulled or not today. Uh, super hyped, seeing if we can get a couple new pulls. Um, but there's really not that much left, so I guess we'll just, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, as usual, I'm going to go ahead and try and name off all the cards. I, I feel like if I can get through one video where I can get through everything, I, I don't have to do that. But uh, until then, I just want to see if I can name them all, you know? Should get a little bit easier as the series goes. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Got a good feeling about this pack. Or I got a good feeling about these packs. What do you think I'm going to pull in today's video? Go ahead. Hit me up down in the comments below. Let me know what you think I'm going to pull. Pause the video and come back to it, okay? With all that said, I know that we've got quite a few packs here, 40 packs, just like always. And it can take a little bit of time to get through these. So let's just jump right into it, guys. As far as the cards that we need, there's only one rare. We still need both secret rares. There's only one super rare that we need, Dark Hole. And then we still need quite a few of the ultra rares. So we'll see if we can get any of those. Let's go. Legendary Sword, Petite Angel, Machine Conversion Factory, Witty Phantom, and a Hain Hain. Starting off with the old Hain Hain. Weird looking card. It's just a floating head with a scythe. Kind of interesting. All right. The Violet Crystal, Kagamusha of the Blue Flame, Spiked Cedra. Hard Armor, and Cherubin, the Flame Knight. And we've got a Remove Trap, Ray and Temperature, Electro Whip, Frenzied Panda, and Final Flame. Look at that guy. I hope that Final Flame is not a semblance of how this opening is going to go. I hope instead this is a new flame. Ooh, yes. This video, I'm feeling a spark right now. The Furious Sea King, Silver Bow and Arrow, our mail, and a stop defense. Wow, I believe we're four for four. Four packs, four rares. I know I said in the last video, I actually prefer opening uh, the non-rare packs first because then you have all that stuff to look forward to at the end but we're for four not bad beast fang hinatama soul raise body temperature larvis and pot of greed what does that card do i wonder i think i think that card was in one episode of Yu Gi Oh. i don't know i can't remember i think it was in at least one of them though yeah. Mizu Raizume, Dark King of the Abyss, Sogan, Petite Angel. Oh, wow, look at that. That has got some shine on it. Polymerization, great card. We actually pulled this card in the last video, and the last video was the first time that we pulled this card. So I'm just grabbing some penny sleeves real quick. Use the penny sleeve to get under the card. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. 
All right, we'll get that sleeved up. And we'll start it down here for the supers. First super, though, fantastic. Great card, great pull. A lot of nostalgia. Like I said, that was the first uh, rare card that I ever got out of a Legend of Blue Eyes pack. It was back in English a long time ago. Yami. Dissolve Rock. Laser Cannon Armor. M Warrior number one. And a Fusionist. The old Fusionist. 900 attack, 700 defense. Terrible fusion cards. All right. Got a Sandstone. Fire Grass. Mountain. Urubi. Ooh, and a Trapple. Wow, look at that. We are, you know, we're definitely coming out of the gates hot today. Wow. Two supers in just the first couple of packs there. That is a great card. As far as supers go, um, really doesn't matter what we get. The only thing we're looking for is the, uh, what is it, Dark Hole or Black Hole? It's the only thing we're looking for. Dark Hole. Dark Hole. It's the only thing that we're looking for, and just hope that we get that. That'd be awesome. Book of Secret Arts. Twin-Headed Dark Ruler. Follow Wind. Man Eater. And Dark Fire Dragon, I believe, is the name of that card. And let's see here. I do think, with this being episode four, I've opened four boxes. I've not seen a secret rare yet. I do think it'd be super awesome to see one. We've been waiting, we've been patient. I think it's time. Monster Egg, Forest. Ooh, Mitatsumi. The Legendary Swordsman, I know it starts with an M. Mizu Raizame and Fiery Aru. That's the first pack without a rare card in it. Let's keep this going. Oh wow, super hard to open pack here. From what I've seen in other videos, this could be a good sign, guys. Wow, that is that is really hard to open. All right, well, let me take a look here. I do have some scissors. Just had to grab them out of a drawer there. Go ahead and cut that off. That's the first pack I haven't been able to open in a while. So maybe that's good luck. Sure hope so. We could use some luck. We could use some new cards for the series. Mammoth Graveyard. Power of Kaishin. Mystical Sheep number two. Sandstone. And that is not a great card. That is not a secret rare. That is not a great card. That is the Enchanting mermaid tell you what ending a pack like that doesn't feel very enchanting am i right all right basic insect wasteland kurama steel ogre grotto number one and the old one-eyed shield dragon one eye one shield one dragon not a lot going on there Ooh, starting off with another basic insect. Book of the Secret Arts. Twin-Headed Dark Ruler. Skull, Red Bird, and a Metabat. Keep these packs going. I know you guys just want to see what is inside here, as do I. And we've got the Violet Crystal. Kagamusha of the Blue Flame. Spiked Cedra. Hard Armor. And Giant Soldier of Stone. Again, those classic 2000 defense monsters. No abilities. Simpler times. You just wall out your opponent. Maybe get out of threat before they do. And then just take over the game. Basic Insect. Book of the Secret Arts. Twin-Headed Dark Ruler. Skull Redbird. And Metabat. That pack feels... Familiar? I think we opened a pack just like that just a couple packs ago. Kind of makes you wonder how these get sorted and packed. Petite Dragon. Legendary Sword. Again, if I can get the focus there, look at that hilt. That is just an awesome hilt. Incredible. Really like the artwork. So simple, but so great as well. Petite Angel. Vile Germ. And Witty Phantom. Man. 
I gotta say, I know that I'm filming this right now, and I'm naming everything off, but I am pumped to see what we get, because I know that we have a couple rare cards in here, and I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid, you know, you might get like a couple of blister packs from Walmart or a couple of loose packs, and every once in a while you get that good card, but, uh, you know, just knowing that you're guaranteed to at least get a couple cool things in here, super awesome. Super grateful to be doing this. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Uh, if you are liking it right now, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, let me know what your favorite card is that's pulled during the video too. Red Medicine. Ooh, Root Water. Vile Germ. M Warrior number two. And Dragonus the Wicked, I think. I think that's the name of that card. I could be totally wrong though. Could be 100% just missing the mark there. Not sure. Fusion Monsters are definitely the ones I know the least in this whole set. Yami, Dissolve Rock, Insect, no, it doesn't have Insect in it. It's uh, Laser Cannon Armor, M Warrior number one, and Spirit of the Harp. Again, getting that 2000 defense basic monster, there is a chance we could pull the Aquamador. Uh, funny enough, the Aquamador is the only rare card that we still need. It's one of those basic 2000 defense monsters. We've got a Silver Fang, Forest, M the Legendary Swordsman, Mizu Raizame, and Fiery Aru. I think there's only one pack left in the stack over here to the left, and I am going to probably finish the right stack before I open that one. Skull Servant, the Violet Crystal, Kagemusha of the Blue Flame, Tripwire Beast, and Hard Armor. I was trying to guess what it was. Yeah, it was just one pack there, so we'll come back to that one. We'll save that. Might be something good in it. Might not. I guess we'll see. All right, keep these going here for you guys. Book of the Secret Arts, Twin-Headed Dark Ruler, Follow Wind, Man Eater, and Reaper of the Cards. Reaper of the Cards with the interesting attack and defense. Uh, really like the only card in the whole set, I believe, that does that. Super weird, super wonky. Make sure you're good at math, so you know your math. Mammoth Graveyard, Power of Kaishin, Mystical Sheep number two, Sandstone, and nothing enchanting about that mermaid. Am I right? 1,200 attack, 900 defense, three stars. What can you do, though, other than say, thanks, Legend of Blue Eyes. Legendary Sword. Maybe this pack's going to be legendary, guys. Petite Angel. Machine Conversion Factory. Witty Phantom. And it is not. It is instead a Grave Digger Ghoul. But that's okay. Cool magic card. Maybe get something out of your opponent's graveyard uh, that you don't want them to use Monster Reborn on if you happen to pull a Monster Reborn. He Tatsumi Giant. Beast Fangs. Hinatama Soul. Silver Bow and Arrow. And a Larvis. All right. There we go. And we've got a Dark Gray. Wasteland, Kurama, Steel Ogre Grotto, number one, One-Eyed Shield Dragon. One eye, one shield. I think he does have two wings, though, but I guess it wouldn't make sense to put two winged in there. Maybe that's implied because he's a dragon, but I don't know. I would think, uh, you know, dragons would have two eyes, too, so what do, what do I know? What do I know, right? He Tatsumi Giant, Beast Fang, Hino Thomas Soul, Silver Bow and Arrow, and a Larvis. Again, that pack feels familiar too. Hmm. Well, we're getting kind of close to the end here. We haven't pulled any Ultras. Maybe this will be the pack. Sparks, the Furious Sea King, Silver Bow and Arrow, Armail. Oh, and what is this? The Flame Ghost? 
I think it's a flame ghost. I know that that was one of the last ones we needed. I believe I only needed two last episode. That was one of them, and we ended up pulling it. So, cool art. Again, one of those fusion cards, so not super great, but cool art. Dark Energy, King Fog, Mystical Moon, Kumu Toko. Those are all new cards, by the way. We haven't pulled any of those this episode. And Metal Dragon. Remember what that one is. That's like the best fusion monster in the whole set, I believe. And it's only 1850 attack and 1700 defense. So, but I guess, you know, when you really break it down, it is one of the better cards in the set, which is kind of cool. This at least as far as the monsters attack and defense goes. Beast Fang, Hinatama Soul, Ray's Body Heat, Larvis, and I can't remember this one. What is this? Um, oh, Kona something warrior. Uh, I can't remember. I remember hearing somebody say that it was in one of the uh, one of the episodes in the anime, but I just yeah, I don't remember that one. Ooh, what is this? Uh, trial by hell or trial by nightmare? Mountain. Typhoon or Typhoon. Not the greater dragon, but the lesser dragon. And Dark World Thorns. You know, this is the first box I'm starting to get a little bit nervous for. We haven't hit anything big. And there's only really a couple of packs left there. All right, we've got the Flame Manipulator. Legendary Sword. Petite Angel. Vile Germ. And the Witty Phantom. All right. As far as what we're hoping to pull, I think it would be awesome to get a new piece of Exodia. Uh, clearly, you know, we still need three of those. And then uh, any of the other Ultras like Dark Magician, Gaia the Fierce Knight, or Monster Reborn. Those would all be super sick. Uh, and then obviously a secret rare would be uh, just incredible at this point, especially since we haven't had one in all these other boxes. Three of them so far. It's about 50-50, I think. Red Medicine. Root Water. Vile Germ. In Warrior number two. Hey, let's go. Yes, let's go. Aqua Madur, the 2000 defense monster that we needed. And now we have all the rares in the set. That is fantastic. That feels great. That feels really good. So even if nothing else, if nothing else, we did get a new card this episode. That's what this whole series is about. So that is awesome. It's a win, and we will take it. M, the legendary swordsman. Vile Germ. Larvis. Umi. I think the first time we pulled it. And, ooh, what is that? Is that the right arm of the Forbidden One? And if I am not mistaken... That is the one that we pulled last episode, meaning the right arm is new! Yes! Yes! That is a new card. I know what the piece is. It takes a second for me to process just because I'm not 100% sure. Like, I have to look and I have to process. Okay, left. So left is actually right. Is right new. And then I forgot I actually put that in a frame. I put the black eyes, too. I don't know if you guys noticed that since it's in Korean, but I put that over there, too. We'll put the right arm over here. I'm sorry, the yeah, the right arm, the right arm. It's like he's giving everybody a big hug right now because he's so happy. Well, that is awesome. So that means that we really only need two pieces of Exodia. And the other Ultra in this box might be new. But uh, we've got, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs left. One Ultra, two Supers, maybe a secret. Guys, let's hope for some fire here. Let's hope for some fire. Steel Ogre Grotto, number one. The Fiend Reflection, number two. Umi, Hinatama Soul, and... Ooh, Mystical Elf. Wow. So, we did it, guys. We got the Giant Soldier of Stone, Spirit of the Harp, Aqua Madur, and the Mystical Elf. That is all of the 2,000 defense monsters in one box something i did not know if we would be able to do or not but we did it lo and behold and again just look at the way the light hits those super rare cards it's awesome they look great and this has been an amazing box opening if you guys have enjoyed watching let me know really appreciate it 
I know that there's uh, been a couple likes on these videos, which means a couple people have been watching. Uh, really appreciate that. And really, I'm just glad that you guys get to share on this with me. I uh, hope it's been entertaining. Skull Redbird. Monster Egg. We've got a Wasteland. Beaver Warrior. And ooh, wow. Okay, Raigeki. That is an awesome card. Again, just hitting the light just right so it looks like it is riding down the lightning bolt. <coughs> Sorry for the sound effects. I don't know if I'll edit those out or not, but um, if they were super terrible and cringy, I apologize. Really cool card. No dark hole, no new super, but that is okay because these supers are awesome cards. Uh, really, really like the like Yaki. Polymerization is cool. And even though a trap pull is kind of like meh, I don't know. I never pulled it in a pack as a kid, so super nostalgic. I think it's awesome. Nimi Ruko. Sogan. Took me a second on that one. Beaver Warrior. Succubus Knight. And Ruling Lizard. Well, we're down to the last four packs. We should expect one more Ultra. Maybe a secret. Let's keep our fingers crossed. This opening has been great, but it could get even better. The 13th Grave. Umi. Urubi. Ooh, it's not insect, it's laser cannon armor. Armored Starfish. Oh, and that's it. That was the last card in the pack. Three packs left. Wow, the fact that an Ultra made its way down this far... I gotta say, I'm getting a little nervous, but in a good way, you know? I can I can feel my, my stomach starting to starting to move around a little bit. It's anticipating what's gonna happen. Skull Servant, the Violet Crystal, Kagemusha of the Blue Flame, Tripwire Beast, and Hard Armor. Wow! So we're down to the last two packs here. I said I was gonna save this one for last, so I guess I'll save it for last and we'll open this one up. And we'll see. I mean, there's still a chance we should get one more Ultra. But I guess there's a chance we could get an Ultra and a Secret? That would be insane. Insane. Let's see if it happens. Hinatama. The Green Phantom King. Dragon Treasure. Oh, that's got to be a good sign, right? Terra the Terrible. And Goblin Secret Remedy. Wow. That means with our four Supers, this pack should be an Ultra. Uh, man, I am, I don't know how to feel because we know that it should be an ultra, but, uh, I don't know. Which one do you guys think it's going to be? Let's go. Let's do it. I'm pumped. I'm ready. This is the mystical sheep. Number two laser cannon armor, the witty phantom. We've got a Sogan and I am so pumped. I'm so ready. Let's see what it is. Oh. Yeah! That right there. I know that, oh man, people, I don't feel like other people get that excited over a guy, the Fierce Knight, but I was worried based on some of the other videos that I've seen, everything like that. I thought this pull was, I didn't know if it was going to happen. I thought it was, maybe it was going to take forever, you know, I've, but I've seen people pull almost everything else, but guy, the Fierce Knight just doesn't seem to get pulled that often. And I mean, we already got the blue eyes. We already got the red eyes. So now that we got a new piece of Exodia and Gaia, oh my gosh. Guys, this is awesome. This is fantastic. This was a wonderful opening. Oh, wow. Wonderful. So we finished off the rares. We got the Aquamador. We did get two new Ultras. We didn't finish off the Supers, and we didn't get a Secret, but that is fine. That is okay, because this has been an amazing box opening thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video let me know what your favorite part of the video was or what your favorite card that we pulled was man what a way to end that out fantastic you guys are awesome hope you have a great day